ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له وان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون الحمد لله على نعمه الاسلام والحمد لله على نعمه القران والحمد لله على نعمه الايمان اما بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى اليوم اكملت لكم دينكم واتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الاسلام دينا الله سبحانه وتعالى says in one of the ayat in, in surah today i have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and approved for you islam as a religion my dear brothers and sisters there should be no doubt in our hearts that our religion the one that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted for us perfected for us through our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam can in any way be one that holds any type of injustice or prejudice in its teachings to any person individual group or even animal being in a western or non-islamic society or environment that can be a reason why this idea is challenged often for a lot of us islam some of the claims that we hear a lot islam makes people judgmental islam oppresses women islam is anti-semitic islam is a homophobic religion islam and islam and so on and on claims over claims and over claims and every single one of them is further from the from the truth than you can imagine i wish i have the time now if it was a regular khutbah to go through these and refute every single one of them with small examples from the life of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but given the limit in time we're going to discuss or cover a couple of them only inshallah أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه فيا فوز المستغفر الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد one of the things that Islam came and made crystal clear but we as Muslims don't demonstrate a strong understanding of is distinguishing between the wrongdoing and the wrongdoer distinguishing between the sinning and the sinner and so the wrongdoing my dear brothers and sisters is something is something that should be hated in the heart of every one of us in the least and spoken against publicly if possible or changed in hand if you are a person of authority or capability however in qara munka forbidding evil by heart should be the minimum level of iman the minimum level of iman all of us should be at by heart we hate by definition in qara munka in our hearts is hating us hating the the the, uh, the wrong doing on ourselves and acknowledging that it is wrong Take for example any sin, any sin, drinking alcohol, homosexuality, using substance, dealing with drugs, whatever it is, hate it for yourself, acknowledge that it's wrong, and that is your role. On the other hand, Islam does not teach us to hate, discriminate against, or curse the wrongdoer, except the oppressor which is a different topic which has different rulings unfortunately we don't have the time 
to cover the specific rulings about the oppressor. In a lot of stories from the life of the Prophet وسلم, and we will only take one for example now, in the hadith about when the Sahaba went for Ghazwat, I forgot the Ghazwat, uh, forgive me, when the Prophet went for Ghazwat Khaybar, and one of the Sahaba after they have finished the battle, got weak after seeing the alcohol that the Mushrikeen had brought. So he went and started drinking from the alcohol. So the Sahaba saw him in front of people. The Sahaba saw him and took him to the Prophet. This person is drinking alcohol in front of us. So the Prophet وسلم, gave him the punishment for drinking alcohol. One of the Sahaba, this Sahaba subhanAllah was known, was known for always falling in this mistake. So one of the Sahaba cursed him. Allahumma al -ayn. The Prophet وسلم, immediately told him, La al -ayn. Do not curse him. I do not know of him except that he knows the Prophet, except that he loves the Prophet and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet is teaching us here, when someone does something wrong, the first feeling should not be a shame or a feel of a, uh, belowing the, 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 the person. However, he told them, say Allahumma firlah, Allahumma rahmah. Wish that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because he's a Muslim, wish that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may forgive his sin and uh, have mercy on him. The, the, this concept is basically because we don't, we don't want as Muslims to help the person achieve the objective that the shaitan wants him to achieve. The objective of Islam is to help people come to the right path, not have them get further away from the right path. And so on, you can measure this on so, uh, so many other topics. Whether it is other unjust, whether it is other wrongdoings, or even people who are on the wrong path, on other religions. Islam does not tell us in any way to disrespect or to be uh, unjust in our actions toward any other person that is not in our religion. إنك يا مولانا قريب سميع مجيب الدعوات اللهم صل على محمد في الأولين وصل على محمد في الآخرين وصل على محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين